Hello. Have you ever wondered why some people just excel at what they do? You know, they just love it. They put their all into it. They're really invested in it. They are committed to succeeding at it. They believe in it. They have so much hope in it. They can tell you what success looks like in absolute detail. Have you ever met anybody like that? And then there are some people that just feel like they are human doings. Now, I wonder if you were to ask yourself, as a leader of a team or a business, do you tell your team what to do? Here's your target, go and do it. Or are you the kind of leader who will ask the team member, if you could achieve any result this year that would blow your mind, that would make you feel amazing, what result would that be? So if you were to work out which leader you are, which one is it? Because let me tell you, in my experience of high performance coaching, the fear of from the leader who is used to telling somebody what to do, what's expected of them, these are the outcomes you have to go and do, the fear that that particular leader has about asking a team member, what would you love to achieve? That fear is, what if that person doesn't even match, you know, what they would love to achieve, doesn't even match the expectations I have of them in their role? That's the most common fear a manager has from moving from telling to asking, from pushing to pulling. In my experience, let me reassure you, in my experience, 100% of the time, when I do high performance coaching with leaderships in companies, when I ask, what would you love to achieve? And pull all that information out of their mind, what they hope and dream of achieving within their role for that business is always greater than that manager or leader's expectations of them. And then how it plays out 100% of the time is that person is so invested in achieving that result. They put their heart, their soul into it. It matters to them. They're motivated. They go above and beyond to achieve that result because that's a piece of them they're working for. They recognize the value of not just what the, of the outcome to the business is, but the value of the outcome to themselves. What does that confirm to them about them? Um, so this topic is massive, but I just wanted you to think for a moment about which leadership style do you have? Can this actually be called a leader when it's push? I'm going to push you to achieve that target in terms of tell you what to do or I'm going to ask you what you what you dare to dream of for yourself and I'm going to hold you in that light and accountable to that giving you all the support that is possible for your highest achievements okay lovelies I hope that's helpful have a great day <laughs>